doors are open! Alright, we're gonna have SU-130, 3 mark, masterclass gameplay here. I 3 marked this team earlier this week, and uh, I got some games put together. It's the first game. I don't really like this map at all. Um, yeah, KB2 coming out in the open there. Don't get a shot, unfortunately. Maybe there's a light tank in these bushes. Do some blind firing. We have a, a few light tanks, but uh, never never hurts to try and do blind shots there early because we're not getting any vision whatsoever. Who knows? Maybe you get, and maybe you don't. Not much for us really going on at the moment. Which is fine. We gotta have some patience. We can make another blind fire. But there's lightning over there, so I drop it and hit a single one. Which is fine. I'm gonna blind fire this typical bush. Now I do hit some blind fires this game. Uh, in the post game stats you'll see at the end of the video I did get some uh, juicy blind fire going and there's an AMD. I'm gonna pull forward, do I get the shot? No I don't. But I'm gonna just aim in this position here. And that looked like a beautiful shot to me. That probably hit. I reckon. His eyes is coming out in the open. Always take a gan uh, look, 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 see over here because you have free vision in between those rocks. And if they sit out in the open, then you can punish them. You see that AMD got hurt really bad. That was definitely a shot from the SU around the dome. Has like 650 hit points. And it was down to 93. So yeah, it dealt like a good 560 damage to it. The score is not looking good. It's 3 to 7. Do we come out on this? I don't know. Only have two shots of damage. One blind for sure and one visible. Can this go in my favor? There's still 10,000 hit points on the enemy team. I'm going to pull forward here. Do a shot. Unlucky shot. And I'm going to probably get punished from those rocks over there at the IS-7. Or at IS-7 IS. Yeah. Not good. Y coming across, or M2Y. So I always have the tier 10 tank stuck in my head because of clan wars. Kill that person. Redemption is mine. Get back to the garage. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I say in New Jersey? They cabbage. Start calling them all the vegetables. Some, uh, we lost this flank, and so they're going to push in really quickly. This uh, artillery is dead. That's fine. We don't need artillery win games. I'm lucky shot there, though. SU 130 gun could be incredibly trolly at times. I'm gonna poke him down this guy. Oop. Lucky ammo rack. We'll take that. We're in a losing situation, the game says, you know what, your piranha plays, and you're going to fucking start carrying this game. And yes, I am. We're at uh, 2k damage, but we have two confirmed blind shots. One kill on the cap and one on the AMD. Nice shot there. And now this VK is going to be uh, in a weird situation because he's about to get freely tapped. He doesn't know he's still spotted, doesn't know people have shots on him, and that's his fault. Now the score is already 10-11. We've been pumping out the damage. We get a free shot of uh, on the M2Y here. I ran out of standard ammunition, so all I have left is uh, the premium shells. I'm gonna pick this guy so because the longer you wait, the more likely they are they to get into position quicker to punish. So if you do this quickly enough, they won't be at like near the cap to shoot you. Uh, definitely the uh, the Rimby. He's probably.
probably still have the position sniping in the middle and it's safe to peek in there because he has no shots on you. Now they have SU-100 that hasn't been position. spotted yet and uh, uh, Rembi's uh, sniping in the middle. If I wouldn't have killed the M2Y there, uh, and I would have just let him live, the RHM could have repositioned towards cap like at T8, and then I would just be screwed. I could never do that. But since he was just spotted there recently, there's no way he could be over there already. So, kill him while you can. The SU-100 could have shot me from over there, but, uh, from the looks of it, uh, probably, uh, doesn't have a beep. work with this T-34 say, hey, I'm here to help. Let, let's go and finish off these artilleries. We, uh, we know the RHM's in the middle of the map. He could be going back to the base, which is fine. Oh, look at that. We found the camper. Who knows if we reposition back there or whatnot, but, you know, that's just... Mm, I don't know about that. Getting down below, because I know where the R is shooting from, and right here is a safe position. I'm also trying to use that rock to block the open uh, area there, so if the RHM is there in the middle sniping, that rock will give me cover. There's one already. Aim just a little bit and shoot. Artillery pieces. M44. You always feel great killing M44s. Because if you ever look at their post-game stats or look how many times they played that tank, it's always in the thousands. 10,000, 20,000 games and that in the left. I just love killing M44s and lefts. Just not a better feeling in the world of tanks than that. And with the gold round as well. Mm. I'll take that all day. Now, there's, there's the RHM, I'm probably going to load up a uh, heat round. Yep, and going to look at the top of it, get a bit of haircut. Yep, okay, got a haircut. And that's the first gate. And we got the second gate, for Lindbergh. Uh, I always come to this position to start with this, uh, because you can look towards the left there, right there, you can see the open, uh, you have vision for people trying to snipe across your heavies, and you also have a position on this bush here, which light tanks typically like to pop up. So, there's one or two options, and I'm looking over here first because the ELC's, uh, uh, coming in, and if he doesn't spot him here in a second, I need to start looking left, because the light tank just got shot, so they are definitely spotting from the cast. See you there? And do I get a shot on this lance? Aim, 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 aim. Yes, I do. Covers a good chunk of the map. Oh, ELC's on the other side, which is very important to know. Now, uh... Now I know they're not going to have anybody over on the right side on... <laughs> so, I don't even have to look over there. Uh, because no one's going to be stupid enough to push it. When I play the ELC on this map, I, I do go to where the ELC is kind of at, but I go to the house where the bush is at towards, like, E3. And then once I've done the initial spots, I leave and go to the other side. Good shot there. It's not a good shot. Hit the dirt. And then, hopefully, they pop up right here in this castle, and then you get free shots. I could also uh, come to the city here soon and help win the city flank. Uh, we are losing 0-3, so I do need to get my gun involved. I just have to hope that they spot castle soon. My hope is uh, that they have a lot of people sitting at like A9, A0, just like uh, camping in a uh, in with a tent. All right, here we go. We got another ammo rack explosion kill. Very nice. We like to see it. completely planned. And now I will be... There's going to be no shots on this land since he dies. It's time to go to the city. Help win this flank. It's a numbers game now. Where do I go? Of course I do. 
So it's best to not go back to go snipe with your TDs uh, in situations like this. Uh, it only if you're like severely losing, we're not, the hit points are still good. But now I get to do some damage here. I'll make sure I aim my shot here. Go for that weak spot, the gun pit in the area. Perfect. He shot so I can peek again. And bad shot for me. And artillery is going to shoot at me, which is fine. I have nothing better to do. I'm a lightly armored vehicle, and I wanted to start shooting this ML, so I have definitely gold loaded. Hopefully this... Oh, I do not want to shoot him. Yeah. Go right through that turret, like it's nothing. See, I've already done two shots of damage, and I've only been hit for 130 from artillery. I call that a win. We're at 3.1k, and there's still a lot of game left. There's a Gonzalo to our left. Uh, we get a nice little shot on him. Nope, he dies instantly. Now I can shoot the ML if he backs up here. Uh, bad shot. You didn't see that, let's just unsee that one. He gets tracked though, thankfully. I like this. He's still looking. I see that. Clear as day. When he backs up or makes a mistake, I'm gonna poke. Shot. Let's go. Good pickup. He's still playing here. He's not dead. I don't know how he's not. I can shoot through this crack here. Oh, that time was a no good. Unlucky. Now we went from a position for the score is 1-3. Now the score is 8-6 in our favor, and that has to help both uh, us contributing in the fight in the city. And uh, you see what's happening in the enemy team. They have a ton of people out of the fight. There are tons of tanks not spotted. They're not utilizing their vehicles. And now they're losing the game because of it. That's why you never ever want to sit in the back and just sit there all game. It's always, no matter what tank you're in, I'm in the SU-130 and I'm still being productive. I'm getting in their faces, I'm shooting my gun. I'm going to backtrack here because uh, I have an opinion that they might try to go around to the back of our spawn and flank us. And then... Uh, Try to kill our artillery. I'm trying to look for uh, ELC even. Because if I was ELC even, I would be doing this right now. I would be going around. And trying to pick off their artillery pieces. Because uh, I'm a big fan of uh, getting them off the game. Getting them sent back to the garage. Do a very good job at it. Uh, no ELC and no being spotted. So... Uh, time to, uh, go find all their camping TDs. I've never been spotted. Which is three of them. That's sad. Win more games if you play the game. Lose more games if you don't play. And not playing the game is sitting in the back. Oh, there's one of them. Shot. Shoot. Now we're going to just full send it straight to the little windmill uh, house. And a lot of people when they get spotted here they stop and that's a mistake. You just want to keep on going. Uh, speed is your best friend here. Because once you get to over here you're safe. get spotted so they're not up on the, they're not peeking the bush line here so that means that they're either a down at like b7 or at, they're at like a5 or a5 ish area in the back so we'll have a look see we know artillery's not over here because we would have spotted them so the artillery must be back at a5 which we'll be happy to go kill Spots there. If there's, you get spotted, that means a tank in that bush line there. Oh, we spotted artillery. We killed that first, of course. We always send those back to garage first. That's the motto. 
even if the artillery... Yeah. They even had to hit it, send it back to the garage first. Not ideal for W and but you know what? It's all about having fun in the end, and that's fun for me. Unicorn reroll two in the M six two A. Does he die here? He gets slaughtered. Uh, you don't overpeak like that. You see how far out he is? Like he's and plus he has a tall profile. Like even if they're at the bushes at like B one B two, they can still hit his uh, turret on the side. Which probably how he died. And when you cross this, always make sure you hook the left and you come up uh, above the water. There's a little lip here that you could use, and you're safe, and now you can safely make it without drowning yourself. Now I have this dead body to protect me. Now I know that they're back at B1, B2, but I don't need to poke and do anything like that. If we're on the cap, and we're capping, they're gonna have to poke eventually. And I can take this dead body here, because I already know they're over there. And I know I'm spotted in a second. I will be. And these artillery corpses, they make fine armor. The best armor. and shoot me, but uh, we're capping and they have to do something. They're just sitting in the bush. Over there. Who's in the game? They have nothing they can do. <laughs> Completely understandable. The LT, I'm gonna have to, I know I'm spotted, but I know the LT is gonna go for a reset and there's only five seconds left. The SG-130 can't shoot me. That's fine. But then I get another shot of damage here, which I'll take. Now I have, that's the game. Easy peasy. And this is my third mark game. Uh, nothing really special here. Uh, just to show you that you can still be productive. And, uh, I is plus two matchmaking. But it just shows you how, uh, being aggressive here. Uh, does pay off. We don't win this game. But it's still a game where I, uh, guy got a good shot on me where I'm not sitting in the back of the map uh, sniping. I'm being productive. Oh, oh. Get a free shot of damage there. I get artillery like always. I should be unspotted, but do I uh, peek here and get a free shot of damage? Uh, unfortunately, it hits the track. Unlucky. And now they're going to be staring at me. Vigorously. So I can't really poke their kid. I did my one free poke, and I'm good. Now I see if I can spot any tanks on that hill line here. And I'll poke with my front turret, or my front of the tank, see if I can spot I do, so they're just hardcore staring. Uh, I saw artillery shoot from there, but probably low. But it's a shot. You never know. Would spot him if he's up too high, but uh, our goal is to kill all the artillery first. We got some free shots here. Let's take it. Got cover from this bush. No shots there. getting involved. I, I can't believe I moved there. I moved again too, so. And I do a bad shot. Not the best. Okay. I see an SU-152 on the map. Oh yeah. He's gonna shoot at me for sure. And I get lucky. And he's dead. Very nice. Better be lucky than good sometimes. Back up 
safety because I'm pretty sure you can shoot me there. I can't really poke there because the cans uh, Ponga 105 can spot me and kill me, which I don't want that to happen. So I'll poke from over here instead, see if they're over poking. Maybe I might get a shot from here. No. Mm -hmm. That doesn't look like it. Line up that one good. And now we have two tanks coming in the Caro in the T32. Yeah, it's not gonna be fun, so let's get ready for a shot. There's one passerby, and then we're the second one. There we go. Get our shot of damage in. A little surprise. Now we saw the Caro just like full, full send it to the other side, so I'm trying to poke this. I'm trying to shoot at the weak spot, but I. Get the shot. Mm, nice. Now he's a one shot for the Skoda even. Let's hope the Skoda can kill him. He's hardcore staring at me. Of course he is. can hope here is one more shot of damage. Lights play TD in the rear. And the TDs play like mediums. Get our shot of damage, the little shoots. Thankfully he blocks a shot for the Thorough. He was dragged though, so. Now that Carl's in position to shoot us, game is over. Can't really fall down because we'll take fall damage too from where we're at. Hopefully artillery can kill this Carl. If the artillery killed this Carl, that'd be nice, but uh... I think they, uh, may not hit him. Yep, they missed him. Unlucky. In this moment of process in my head, I'm, I could just sit here all game and do this and get nothing done. Or I can just go next. Try to bait out his shot. See, he'll shoot. And, uh, he did. Because it's, they got no armor. Which is fine. But, it was still good enough. Uh, 3900, not the best game, but it was a good enough game. Here's our game from Oyster Bay, the very first match. We got 6.8 k damage. The game from Erlenberg, we got 5.7k. And, finally, our 3 mark game from Pearl Rip. And that was it. Thank Brianna you. plays and Brianna slays. That's the name of the game. And the maze on the flame. Open your eyes and you will see. Your eyes open. Brianna plays and Brianna slays. 10k damage in the bank. Brianna plays and Brianna slays.